Hi everyone and welcome back to Adventures in Nordland. I am uh, here today to talk uh, about something that matters a lot to me and you know a lot of you might not understand why. So if you uh, check out any or most of my repositories you um, you can see that we uh, you know we have um, I include tests in them okay so let's let's go and take a look at npm okay and for example if you take fastify if if you open fastify and here you can take a look at code and you can take a look and you can see that I ship my tests okay I ship the build folder, I ship all the things that are needed to maintain this project. I ship docs, I ship everything here in this repo. And you can find it in Pino2 um, as well, okay? And yes, there is everything here to reconstruct the project, okay? Now, do you know why? The, 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 this, and I get every single time, every week, I get an issue somewhere on one of my repos that... Um, I that you know it's uh, it's needed and uh, asking why it's needed and asking to remove the test folder to reduce the download sites so that their projects can um, you know be downloaded uh, installed faster okay now let me explain why and why this is needed okay and why you ne actually uh, I think including the test and the source file and the whole blob of the project it's actually needed for uh, a good module on on npm for something that should be used okay and it's a recommendation to all my other maintainers to do so so i don't know if you remember but a few years back it was the year uh, i don't know uh, 2016 i think okay i'm uh, 2016 in 2016 um, there was an incident on npm called uh, about leftpad uh, what happened with leftpad uh, we have um, other kosulu i think it's his name um, uh, removed uh, all his module from npm following a a, a dispute uh, over the name kick with a company called kick i don't know if this company is still alive to be honest Okay, I, this is a question of yes, it's still, it's still alive. Okay, and because they were um, uh, using the, their name and so on and so forth. Okay, and uh, um, now he removed two hundred and seventy-two packages about that time and from npm. Now at that time, npm allowed modules to be unpublished. What does it mean? I can remove all my modules if I want to, um, uh, and. Uh, that's it's uh, what happened he removed all the modules okay and when that happened you know it's um um is that npm after that incident changed like yet they restored leftpad and then they changed their policy in a way that prevents unpublish okay and uh, the, you cannot remove publish uh, modules from npm anymore essentially because you will trade in somebody else's work right once it's published it's forever more or less okay so yes okay so what does it matter with my tests in my repos okay you, you might ask well it is the point i can remove at any time uh um you know i cannot remove a module from npm right but if I'm really upset, I can remove a module, a repository, a repository from GitHub, right? I can just delete the repo. Now, deleting the repo will delete all the source file contained in it. Now, if um, the problem now is if that repo contains the source files, like the TypeScript sources, the tests, all the things that are needed to maintain that project, I have essentially crippled the community. In, in, ma in, in maintaining that stuff uh, because they are not in they're not on MP in anywhere okay those files are only hosted on github so if i don't put them on npm you will not ever be able to reconstruct that repository um, 
because the sources are not available anymore. Okay, and yes, you can say that there are forks and, and you know you could do some scavenging, but all of that is um, very very much limited. Okay, and you will not have an official. You know, this is what was included in this release. This is what these were the sources that generated this release, and that's a massive problem. Okay. Uh, now, it's not possible in all cases because especially for monorepos and stuff, it's almost impossible to include the source files. Um, but, you know, this is, a, this is a huge problem. And this is partially caused by the fact that NPM does not have uh, two, uh, uh, two bundles, okay? It does not have a source bundle and a, a, and, and a binary bundle, okay? It only have a, a package. It's a single thing. And... A lot of people tell me, well, just use GitHub releases. That's the source code. Yes, but those that can be deleted. And people will delete stuff to arm others, whatever they, they, their point of view, okay? to create disruption. So that will happen. And if you, if you see a module that does not have those things, well, you, you know uh, that those people uh, are, are more, uh, can threaten you, essentially, in, in more direct ways than um, what you would expect. So they can just remove their repos and everything is gone. And now you cannot build and maintain that module yourself anymore. So just a reminder, if you care about some of those modules, please just fork them and keep those um, uh, forks up to date constantly, more or less, so that you can potentially reconstruct those modules if um, they maintain or go wrong. So, um, yes, I, I hope I express my point of view clearly and I hope you, you understand why I am always including my uh, test folder and my source and my TypeScript and all the things in my module when I ship them on NPM so that I, I do that for you, okay? I do that so that in case uh, my modules disappear, you will always be able to reconstruct what was in your version that you installed. Uh, from the sources you have inside node underscore modules. So, um, yes, thank you for watching. Oh, and by the way, remember to subscribe on the, on the channel so you can get more videos like this. Thank you very much.